Hello. Mike, uh, obviously it's, it's soon, but uh, difficult separating pride with disappointment here right now. Well, you're disappointed for sure. I mean, you know, you have an opportunity to get to overtime again. You have a chance. I mean, they were way better than us in overtime, I thought. Uh, you know, but from our perspective, it was uh, we got to play a really good team, really well-coached team uh, with real good players and got to find out where we're at and where our players are at. And until you've been through the playoffs with players, you don't really know the level of the player you have. And so you learn a lot about your team. And, you know, I'm really proud of our guys. I think from where we were and for the expectations coming in, and, you know, I never knew Mitch was going to make the team. There's so many different things you don't know. Our young guys are good. And so to build a program like they have, that you're a contender every single year, we got to keep going. Now, today's disappointing. Anyway, you look at it, I had to give myself a good talking to. They tell me I'm one of the worst after I lose out in the playoffs at this press conference. So I had to give myself a little tightening before I got in here. But, you know, the reality is, is it's a great year for our team. It would have been great to play game seven in Washington. Can you share, Mike, uh, a bit of what you learned about your guys in these six games? No. That was my question. It's a good one. Can why, we, why can't you then? Well, I'm just not going to. And I, you know what? I might even do it in the exit meeting. I'm just not doing it tonight. What, what, what do you think? Sorry. What can they take out of this, Mike, do you think, then, going forward into next season? Well, I think uh, we've had great growth of our team unbelievable actually from the start of the year it's been an exciting year you know i was telling someone today it's uh if you're not from toronto and you come to toronto you have no idea how spectacular it is it, from you people the media coverage to the fan base to the love of the team it's like nothing you've ever seen if, if you're a good player and you like winning this is the best place you could ever play i've never seen anything like it it's it's fantastic so now we got to have a team to match that opportunity. And so that's what we're going to try to build here over time. But uh, we've got lots of good young kids. Other kids were good. Mike, we, some of us kept waiting all series for the Caps to maybe show why they're the top seed for a longer stretch. It never really happened. But we, I would argue after you guys go up one nothing, they maybe had their best stretch of the series. For them. Well, I thought so too. I really did. I, I didn't think we had the punch the puck much after that. I mean, you have a chance to walk out the door in overtime, it's in your building, you're in elimination to push them. We didn't push them, they pushed us. So they were better. Um, you, got, you got to get to a certain level of game to find out about your people. And so just because you can play regular season games and be good enough to get your team in the playoffs doesn't mean you can win a championship. Those are way different people, way different players, but as a coach, you know, as management people that have been in a long time, and you've seen what it takes. In the playoffs, there's nowhere to hide. You're just looking across at the guy. I mean, Kadri knew he was going out against Backstrom every single time, vice versa. Uh, you know, they knew 92 was coming second. They knew Matthews. There was no, there was no tricking anybody. Like, Trotsky wasn't tricking me. I wasn't tricking him. It was, here it is. Let's get at her. So you found out a lot about your guys. Uh, Mike, what did you make of Anderson's performance tonight? Outstanding. I thought it was really good. Um, when they got it going at times, and we made some mistakes sorting things out because of their speed through the neutral zone, I thought he was really good. And, you know, that's an important building block for our team. Uh, you know, I thought Lou did a great job last summer to get us a goalie that uh, you can call a franchise goalie. I still think there's a, a learning curve there, learning to play so many games. Uh, you find out what fitness level is all about in the National Hockey League. And so he's going to have to have a big summer. A lot of our guys learned that. Uh, Naz, if you're going to play against the best players, you got to get more fit. Yeah, I understand that. And then a lot of our young people, are, uh, they're, they're light yet. But so were those guys a couple of years back. And, and so you got to earn the pounds by training and, and doing good things. So it's a big summer for our team. See you guys. Thanks for all the, thanks for all the coverage. We really appreciate it. Thank you.